So Google understands that people are giving this specific search intent because we're looking to learn and not to buy. So search intent, it's usually called amongst the, the, our circles user intent. So this is the purpose behind every search query. You know, when you're sitting or when your customers are sitting at a table and they ask themselves, hey, what is the capital of Bujumbura or Djibouti? And people are like, oh, I don't know, just Google it. That is the intent. Their intention is to find information so they can make sense of the world around them. So has your website been created or formulated and optimized in such a way that you are making, helping your customers make sense of the world around them? And when you understand and satisfy each search intent, um, you know, on Google, it will give you ultimate priority. Remember, I have mentioned already at the start of this video saying that Google always wants to look like they are providing the information that people are using on the internet. But guess what? All of that information comes from websites like yours and mine. So pages that normally rank on, on, on the first page of Google, if you really, really notice, they have passed, you know, the eyeball test or Google's litmus test, which is called search intent. They answer at least 95% of the question that the person the person who is typed into Google um, requests or is looking uh, to be answered okay so if you look at maybe just type in maybe uh, you can pause this video right now and type in maybe uh, something to do with your industry all right and then look at the results that come at the top of Google don't worry I will wait So have you noticed that the top results are usually blog posts, um, they're usually uh, videos, um, so, to some certain extent, not e-commerce, all right? It's usually information because that's what Google assumes people are coming to the internet for. So Google understands that people are giving this specific search intent because they're looking to learn and not to buy always always remember that people are coming to the internet to get information all right and when when they get information they then conclude to themselves that they either need the product and then they can search whether the person providing that information is also going to be the person who can provide them um you know with the pro uh, with the opportunity to make a purchase so on the other hand if you really, really look at it, so usually top search results of a query of whatever your service is. So our services, digital marketing services or SEO services, they usually are opportunities to buy or they usually ads. And because in this case, Google actually understands that when somebody types in certain keywords, half of the time they are in buying mode or half of the time they are in information gathering mode. So find out during your formulation of your, you know, um, customer journey, at what level does somebody ask certain questions? Okay. So you should know that if somebody, if let's say you are selling this, uh, tripod. Okay. So if somebody is typing in things like, um, camera stand, all right, they're looking for opportunities to make a purchase. But if somebody types in three legged silver top, black screwing, um, tripod stand for webcam, you now know that that person already knows what they're looking for. They are intending to buy. So therefore the top results that come on top of, on, on, on the top of Google search, they are usually from an e-commerce uh, perspective, which are going to give the opportunity to that person to make a purchase. So for that reason, if you want to rank your pages, you know, you, if you want to rank um, your website on page one of Google, especially from the year 2020, it depends what year you're looking at right now. You need to understand the concept of search intent and you need to create content that aligns with what the user is going through at that particular moment. So you need to take yourself back a little bit. 
where is the client or where in your customer journey is this customer depending on the information that they know because certain keywords certain words are used when somebody has an in-depth knowledge of a particular product service or provision um you know of a or whatever it is that you're selling there